Well, well, here we are. It's a beautiful day, no wind, absolutely perfect for gold mining. I knew this, I could almost predict this because everyone's on lockdown and quarantine and we can't get together. What a beautiful, warm, no wind day. Well, <laughs> I know the only guy that showed up to work is my trusty foreman, Bob. Bob, how are you doing, buddy? Always good to hear from you. So uh, I'm gonna fire it up. You guys can see over a long winter that I've had a lot of destruction at the mine site. Look at this. I miss the boys. I wish they were here right now. I can't even call it YouTube gold without the boys because the gold is truly in, in the fun and friendship we have here. But regardless, gold has to be dug and uh, all this needs to be fixed. You guys must be wondering where all these damn boulders keep coming from. All of this needs to be redug. All the wiring for the pumps. This is the old pump house. Look at this. Look at this. Is all this is falling apart? All the earth has pushed it all in. Ugh, that was the pump house. All this wiring needs to be redone. And uh, last year, if you remember, if you guys were fans of YouTube Gold last year in season two, uh, we had quite a, a serious year of weather where it was just rain or uh, snow, everything. This was terrible to work in. So I have a whole idea of making a new road in here. Look at all this is all overgrown. <laughs> Let's rock and roll. First order of business is to actually get to business and get done what I can get done in preparation. I had big plans for season three. Lots of equipment. Oh yeah! Bulldozer showing its might. There it is. This bulldozer weighs in at 60 pounds. An unbelievable weight for a hydraulic RC. Yeah, just having a look at this is where our huge like old faithful used to feed into the trommel here and you can see it's been decimated. I'm surprised that it didn't hold up a lot longer than it did. Uh, two years seemed to be a little bit light for the amount of effort that we put into it, but I'll clear these rocks down here and get rid of the debris. Now that all the crap is out of the way, or most of it at least, what I need to do is get into this area right here and start flattening it out. You can see that a whole bunch of this area has been, you know, moved by the by the winter and all the water that comes through this area. And I think the mud is one of the things that inhibited us the most last year, uh, is that our trucks were sliding around and that we weren't able to overcome that. So uh, I have a way to do that. Let's flatten all this out and uh, see if we can, it's gonna be a long job. I have, there's a lot of area to cover with a very small bulldozer. There may be a more effective way, but I wanna give it a try at least. I think one of the most important things to me about this road being done is the grade and uh, anything above a B plus would be acceptable but no lower than a C. That's B plus quality right there. I 
Yeah. Wow, I can't believe how quiet it is around here. It's like working with Michael full time. Uh, this road is turning out just the way we needed it to. I have a quicker way to do the top part though. Okay, what's up? It's me again. Uh, this time I will be wearing my hard hat because of uh, this huge machine. If you've never seen this before on my channel or on the show, then prepare to have your minds blown. This is a full-size radio control uh, CAT 242D skid steer. Check it out. But boom there's my controller right there. Uh, I've got a smooth edge bucket on it. I'm going to use it to help me flatten out some of the area that I need. A lot of viewers of the show may wonder why there is a big pile of dirt here when Joe was working the glory hole so well last year. And I would agree, it is suspicious. You can look around here, you can see I've actually pushed out a lot of dirt with the uh, skid steer. Now it's time to get in there with the heavy duty stuff and move this dirt around to where it should be. The big new Komatsu. Last year we had a hard time keeping up with uh, the demand for pay dirt uh, that was going through the wash plant. So I also had the other uh, payday uh, trommel, the orange trailer, that was also sifting pay dirt for us. So we needed another loader. And instead of having it idle, I'm going to have it uh, help me build the road right now. tell my time on that is going to be forever it's going to take a lot of the power out of the uh, cell that I have in there right now so we might as well uh, get the Volvo rock truck down here we can start filling that up with dirt and start moving uh, larger quantities
one thing I gotta say about the guys not being here that I miss is that I have to carry every one of these. I'm gonna try to push some of this dirt up towards the ramp because I wanna level out the ramp at the same time. I have a feeling I might be a little bit too far away from the loader. Let's see how high of a reach this this has. Ooh, not bad. Right in the center. Much better. for me to build a road. Everyone's always telling me to put gravel in here. I put gravel in here before, but the problem is, is it gets caught in between the tracks of the excavators. So it makes it much more challenging. Here I am under my lean-to. Shout out to Sluicebox Steve right now. What's up, Steve, for uh, dropping off all of this cedar wood two and a half years ago. Uh, he said he had been storing it in his basement. He had had it forever. Took him 17 trips in his smaller uh, Mazda truck to get all this here, but finally did get it here. We're going to put it to good use. I'm thinking of cutting this up into planks and putting down a complete cedar road. So 29 inches. Twenty nine inch platform and twenty nine inches. Well, give or take an inch. Everyone knows the secret to a good, clean, successful cut is to get as many pieces of wood onto your saw as possible at once. Looking good, Bob. Keep up the good work, buddy. The strength of these machines always astonish me. You can see the amount of work that needs to be done before the mine site can even start up. It's been absolutely uh, terrible. And I know last year the mud and the snow were crippling to us and I think that this is going to be the ultimate solution. You can already see in the background I've been working on it.
are at the end of a long day. All the machinery now lifted back to where they're supposed to be. Decking boards, uh, section one is now complete. Section two, you can see, is being worked in there. And uh, I think this is basically the ultimate answer to any kind of rain, snow, sleet, mud, basically. Once they get into those wheels and those tracks, it's debilitating on these machines. And uh, I don't want that to be hampering our efforts because if I can get the crew back this year, if we're able to bring the team together, uh, I wanna make sure that we're ready to go. And this is the vision I've had for the mine site for quite some time. I still got a lot of work to go in the middle part. Gotta redig this, gotta reshore up all the walls, gotta pull out the uh, wash plant, redo the whole thing because that's in a huge disarray uh, drop a like click right now if you want to do that if you guys had a great time uh, watching all these amazing rcs in action drop that like click now and uh guys send a shout out crazy joe sluice box lyle rookie michael everybody that's come and helped this come together even Kevin. I knew you were listening, buddy. Uh, I just want to send a shout out to you guys. Thank you all for joining me today, and we'll see you in the next episode of YouTube Gold. Bob, I feel like I wouldn't be your friend if I didn't tell you you had a little something right there, buddy. Just, just right there. If you could start participating a little bit more, that'd be helpful also. I feel like I was really on my own here for a lot of the show, and, you know, we miss your comedic gestures, your smiles, mostly.